Hello, this is Thomas from the Litchi Slicer team and in this video I will introduce you to the new support inline feature that we added in the latest beta of Litchi Slicer. This feature is available for pro and premium subscription users and you can find it in the prepare workspace and of course in the support tool. On the right panel, you will find just at the end below the support painting feature, a new inline support sections. The tool is very easy to use and you will see that it's very, very convenient. Uh, one of the examples, of course, is to prepare some dices like this one. Just to create your inline support, you need to have, let's say, a starting support, an ending support like that. You have two support. You can do a multi selection and then you have there a button generate from selection and by clicking on this button it will use the interval value right now of three millimeters to create supports in between these two selected supports at an even distance which is roughly three millimeters we put three but it will it will do its best to have a very even distribution it means that perhaps the distance will be 3.1 or 2.9 millimeters and it's approximately three millimeter then this is a basic workflow another workflow which is a lot more faster i'm undoing what i'm doing i just selecting a starting point and now i'm pressing the shift key and you can see that we have a preview which appear between the starting point and the ending point like i did before and you can see, of course, the density of support that you will have. You have no way to update the supports as soon as it has been created that you need to undo. If you want to change the density, then the interval between your supports, let's say I will switch to 0.8. And now when I'm pressing my shift key, you see that the density of support will be, of course, higher. And now all the support have been created. Then if you want to continue this workflow, you can say, oh, I want to have one there, shift, and doing something like that. And you see that in a very short amount of time, or you can start from this one, ending there, all your supports have been created that way. Very easy and very convenient. Another useful way of using the inline support tool is to work with a multi-selection of support. I have a starting one, I put another one there, there, and there. Then I would like to have an infill, I would say, of supports between these four supports. What I do, I, I select this one first, then this one, this one, and this one. And if I press now the generate from selection, it will add the support following the order of the selection I did. Then I can do another one there and there. And now I'm pressing the generate from selection and all your support have been selected. Of course, you can use another tool which is a support painting to do something like that and then you can imagine using this tool in multiple ways to create quickly a lot of support when it's needed then we are sure that you will find a lot of different usage uh, for this inline support and you will see that it's a great addition to other tools like i said just before from the support painting and of course your usual manual support and we hope to see you soon in another video dedicated to Litchi Slicer bye bye